Staying cool in the warm weather can be a multifaceted challenge. Today, we're cooling down the temperature by making a peach melba popsicle and a marbled Miami Vice mocktail. We'll also share some tips on how to beat the heat. And the Fashion Sense models are here to show us how to stay fashionably cool in the warm weather. All this week on Fashion Sense by Valerie. Some days it feels like we're clearly in the middle of the summer season with the heat and the humidity. Today, we're gonna cool down the temperature by making a refreshing peach melba popsicle and a frosty Miami Vice mocktail. And my super cool actress friend, Sienna, is gonna be stopping by to help us beat the heat. Special delivery. Hello. Hello. Hi, Val. Hello. Hello. All right, well, thank you for picking up the peaches, peaches. Oh, no problem. Just what the doctor ordered. So what are we making today? Peach pie? Mm. It's kind of hot. It is too warm for peach pie, so we're going to be making a refreshing peach melba popsicle. Popsicle, Popsicles. Perfect. Watch how easy this is going to be. So all you need for this recipe is... One cup and two tablespoons of full flavored yogurt. So we full want flavored. the full flavor with all the fat, Ooh. all the flavor, yeah. all the goodness. Mm -hmm. And we're using a vanilla flavored yogurt here. We're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Almond. One and a half cups of thawed out raspberries. Thawed, thawed out. out raspberries. I always chuckle in my head when I say that word, thawed out. Thawed <laughs> out. Well thawed out raspberries. <laughs> a cup and a half of Thawed out. out peaches. Great. So let's make the base first. Okay. Go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of the almond extract into the yogurt mix. Mmm. Okay. I love Ooh. vanilla yogurt. Ooh, yes. Oh, oh. Ooh, yes. Generous. Mmm. I like being generous. <laughs> Especially when we're making recipes. Yes. We're just gonna mix that all up here. Oh, so it's goodness. nice, right? So it's nice and married. Oh, I smell the vanilla, I smell the almond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna puree the layering pieces. So go okay. ahead and hand me the cup and a half of the thawed, thawed out raspberries. raspberries. We're well gonna, thought out. Well thought out, ooh. Let's puree that. Okay, it's gonna get a little noisy. Okay. Hang on here. Okay. Oh, that is a beautiful look color. Look at that color. I want nail polish in that color. I love that. Okay, we're just gonna pour this back into the container it came from. Okay, now hand me the cup and a half of the thawed out peaches. And let's puree that. Okay. Just fill that in here. That color matches our outfits. It does, right? it does. Okay, and then let's just scoop out this. Oh gosh, oh, that pureed nicely. That nice. Mmm. Ooh. Very sunny. Mm-hmm. Great for summer season, right? Don't you think? Mm, I think so. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so now we're going to make the popsicles. We're gonna need popsicle molds, and here's where we can get creative. You're gonna just layer them in whatever order that you want to. Didn't you say that you were going to be, or you filmed, or you're gonna be in a big movie, like a real movie, like a real movie movie? Yes, like a real, like a real movie movie. Like the kind of like movies you- Like movie movie. I filmed my first 
feature film, yes. independent feature film uh -huh. called The Devada. Okay. Written and directed by Edo Natasha okay. Fonte Love. Okay. And yeah, I was away in New York studying theater. I saw that. Uh -huh. I saw that. I loved all your outfits when oh, you layered with your you scarves so and your yes. coats and your boots the and, boots. and those cute socks that you used yes, to post on so. Instagram. Yes, oh my, my God. socks. Love them. Yes, I love. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, before I graduated, I was actually able to study abroad in London, did some classical theater, studied drama. some Shakespeare. Did you take I drama? Really, I did. It was I don't... only drama. <laughs> okay, so when does this movie come out? When can we expect it? Yes, it's coming out spring 2020. Spring 2020. Yes. Oh. And the Zavada is about a young high school girl named Milati. Okay. That's who I play. Okay. And Do you fight? I don't Are you fight like as this? much. Okay. I don't. I get protected a lot. Oh, oh, stuff. But, oh, but, 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 okay. I find out that I may potentially be the savior of the world. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds like drama. drama. Real drama. Oh, that's not like my kind of drama. No, no, yours is good drama. I got this good is, drama. This that is some real drama. <laughs> Ooh, that's so, oh, but that's so exciting. I can't wait for it to come out. Yes, me neither. This Ooh. is my first feature film, so I'm very excited. And Edel's a great director. He's won a lot of awards for yes. the first movie that he had done. Popolo, right? Which he also did with Fonte Love. Yes, yes, I remember that project. Okay, look. Looks like we are filled up. Let's take our the tops of the popsicle and let's just wedge it in there. It. Yeah, yours is a little messy, but it, it's a it's a messy project, but it's mm -hmm. so fun. This is going to be lovely. We're going to stick this in the freezer to freeze for about four hours. When we come back, we're going to be making a frosty Miami Vice mocktail. Mocktail. Oh, a mocktail. Stay with us. Who are you? My name is Ajudan. We have to leave. You just have you to don't trust me. Don't touch me! None of what you're saying is making any sense. The Divine will send us the reincarnated, the Devata. Are you real or my imagination? Sooner or later, True Order will find you, or worse, <laughs> kill those people close to you. Can't win, Envy. Watch me. Welcome back. Speaking of the big screen, when you hear the name Miami Vice, what do you think of? Mm, what do you think of? Florida. Florida. Um, palm trees. Palm trees. Colorful, hot. Hot, colorful, hot, colorful uh -huh. hot. Water, beachy. When I think of the words Miami Vice, I think of the TV show that I used to love watching. And I especially loved watching them wear the blazers layered over the white T-shirt, a simple T-shirt, so the blazers. colorful blazers uh -huh. over the simple white T-shirt. But I learned that Miami Vice is also a drink. A drink. Also a it's drink. a drink. I actually had to confirm that with Mr. Google, oh, you know, Mr. Mr. Google, Google. Mr. Google. <laughs> He's a reliable source. Yes. And I learned that it's a layered drink. Like the blazers. Like the blazers <laughs> over the shirt. That makes sense. So it's a pina colada and a strawberry daiquiri layered in one glass. Both of those drinks. Both of those drinks together. Now I know we've had them separately and they're delicious right. on its own. Imagine when they're together, together forever. forever. They're delicious. So we're going to make a Miami Vice mocktail. mocktail. Wonderful. Mocktail. So, so everyone can enjoy Everyone right? can enjoy the entire family. This is going to be a lovely, refreshing layered drink. Let's make the pina colada first. What we're going to need for this is one cup of milk, and I like using the vanilla flavored soy milk, one cup of pineapple juice, four tablespoons of cream of coconut for that pina colada taste, some frozen bananas, <laughs> and five ice cubes. Let's make the layer. So we're okay. just going to Add all the ingredients in together forever. One cup of soy milk, one cup of pineapple juice. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Smell that pina colada. Oh, I love coconut. Me too. Ooh, look at those flavors. Delicious. They're looking yummy. We're going to add some. Frozen bananas in here. Okay. And then our ice cubes. All right. 
So I'm going to take it to the blender and blend them together. Okay, so careful, it's going to get a little noisy. Blend it a little bit more. Yeah, lovely. Okay, let's pour this into a carrot. There. Ooh. <laughs> If you like pina colada, I love pina, pina colada. colada. <laughs> ah, that looks lovely. Okay, now we're gonna make the strawberry daiquiri layer. So for this, what we're going to need is one and a half cups of water, two cups of frozen strawberries. Now, we don't need to thaw uh, out the okay. strawberries. We can just use the frozen straight from the freezer. Great. And then we need a quarter cup of sugar, and you know, I like using monk fruit as a sugar substitute. Oh, so we're gonna good. add that here. Ooh, don't waste a thing. <laughs> and the juice of half a lime. Okay, we're gonna get our forearm workout oh, yes. here. Hang on here. <laughs> there you there go. There we go. Yes. Working out that forearm. Get it. Get it. <laughs> it's getting there. I'm getting it, girl. I'm getting it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so now blend it all together. It's gonna get a little noisy again. That looks beautiful. Look at the color in this. Okay, hand me another carrot there. And let's pour the strawberry daiquiri in there. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> Now, let's layer some mason jars with these two different flavors here. I'm gonna start, and it doesn't matter which flavor you start with, it's going to all right. end up in one lovely swirl. So, I'm gonna add some of the pina colada first. Oh, and then let's switch out. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some of the, ooh, look at that beauty. Okay, let's switch one more time. Ah, okay. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Oh, I can't wait to drink these beauties. Here we go. Mmm. I'll take that from you. Add the pina colada and the strawberry daiquiri all mixed up together. Nicely swirled. Let's make some pretty garnish. So we're gonna take a skewer stick and maybe break off about a third, a fourth of the okay. bottom. And then we're going to layer, like the layer blazer. like the blazer, layer the strawberries and the pineapples together. Ooh, these are big strawberries. These are. <laughs> these are huge. <laughs> Ooh, tiny what? pineapples. Tiny, tiny, tiny pineapples, pineapples and big strawberries. But look how cute they look together. <gasps> Ooh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. I've got these neon straws for the Miami Vice look. Ooh, Ooh great These are colors. silicone straws, aren't they fun? So I love using silicone straws or metal straws. Much more sustainable. Great. Okay. Love the environment. We must test these babies out. Cheers. Mm. Oh my mm. God. Strawberry daiquiri, pina colada. <laughs> it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. We're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna show you a few tricks on how to stay cool during the warm weather. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm guessing you're enjoying your peach melba popsicles and your frosty Miami Vice mocktails at this time. I'm gonna share with you a few tips and tricks on how to stay cool. Now for those hot summer nights, try sticking your sheets in the freezer or the fridge before you go to bed. Be sure you place them into a plastic bag. And you wanna do this a couple of minutes before you get into bed. Now granted, this isn't gonna keep you cool all night, but it will definitely give you a brief relief from the heat and the humidity when you hit the sack. Now another trick to cool down your temperature is to run cool water over your wrist or the back of your neck. Now the reason why you wanna do this is because they both contain pulse points and that's gonna help cool your temperature down.
Now these aren't the only pulse points on your body. Behind your elbows and your knees are also pulse points, but your wrists and behind your neck are the easiest to cool down during the day, especially if you're at work. If the temperature seems a bit warm for your liking at night, try cooling down your entire body by rinsing your feet with cool water. Now these 10 little piggies are pretty sensitive to temperature because there are a ton of pulse points in your feet and your ankle. If there's a pool around, go ahead and stick your feet in it and splish splash for a little bit. It's really gonna help cool your temperature down at any time during the day when you need it. Now if you're outdoors exercising, try this trick. Take a damp scarf or bandana and wrap it around one of your pulse points. You can wrap it around your wrist. You can also wrap it around your elbow. Or you could wrap it around your neck. Now this should be done with cold water and not freezing cold water. Now remember, cooling down your pulse points will help to keep your temperature low. According to traditional Chinese medicine, if you hold an ice cube or a cold pack over your feng fu spot, you'll awaken your body's balancing force and discover an increase in joy and energy levels. What you wanna do is lay on your stomach. Your feng fu spot is where the back of your skull meets the base of your neck. Place the ice pack on for 20 minutes. Do this on a regular basis, taking two to three day breaks in between. According to Chinese medicine, the feng fu point is not a pressure point, but a point that allows you to bring your body back to its original physiological state. We're gonna let Sienna here relax for a moment. When we come back, we're gonna take a look at some style tips that'll help keep you cool and beat the heat. Stay with us. Welcome back. Some days it's so hot that you feel like you want to melt under the glare of the sun. And some days it's such a hard task to get dressed. Here's a few tips on how to stay fashionably cool when the weather is warm. Now, if you're a pants kind of gal, make sure you choose fabrics in breathable fibers like cotton, silk, or linen, like what this romper is made out of. Natural fibers are more breathable, they absorb your sweat, and allow your skin to breathe. If you're choosing pant styles, make sure they are straight leg or wide leg, because that's gonna allow the airflow to come through your body to keep you cool. And you don't want to forget about protecting your eyes from the sun. Plus, oversized shades make your outfit look so much more chic. Now you'll also want to wear light, bright colors. Wearing darker colors can keep you warm. So choose some light, bright colors. And this midi length dress is perfect for a professional option. The idea here is the looser, the better. You want to limit the amount of material that clings to your skin. Now, speaking of clinging, you want to start with cotton undergarments. Now, if you're concerned with sweating, cotton undergarments are your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> you also want to shade yourself by carrying an umbrella. Don't be shy carrying an umbrella in the sun. This is going to give you a personal shade from the sun rays. Thank you, Sarah. You'll also want to opt for lightweight, flowy dresses, like this one here. Now this is a cotton fabric, so it's breathable, but this loose-fitting, lightweight style provides a lot of air circulation. Now this is a full circle hemline, which means it's got lots of breathability. Pay attention to her shoes. Now I know we talked about wearing light, bright colors, but here's where wearing black is an exception, in your accessories or in your shoe. And this is a nice open toe, so it's perfect for summer. 
and you can't forget to protect your head and your face from the sun rays, use a bucket cap with the brim wide enough to protect those beautiful blue eyes. Thank you, Laura. Sweating is your body's air conditioner and it needs water to run properly. So be sure to top off your tank with a couple of cups throughout the day. Or whip up some refreshing peach melba popsicles or a frosty Miami Vice mocktail. That's the trick to beat the heat while staying chic. Until next time, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense. And remember, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. Cheers. Barbecue parties of all sorts happen year round. It's kind of our thing in Hawaii, right? We've got some entertaining hacks that'll make you look like a culinary chef and queen of the grill. Speaking of grill, we're firing it up with something sweet and the barbecue Bettys are here to showcase what to wear to your next party on the next episode of Fashion Sense. I don't know why, but it's not looking like it's supposed to, but it's okay. Drama, drama. Shakespeare, high comedy. I think I can create my own drama. Then I <laughs> if there's a pool or a pond or a if there's a pool or a thawed out. Thawed out. Thawed out. Thawed out. Increase in energy and promotional consideration provided by complete tent rental.